and it's another fairly pleasant day. We have temperatures somewhere in those low to mid 80s, so really not doing too bad as far as early August goes. On average, our highs hit right around 88, so not even seeing average, definitely not setting any records with that record of 111 set back in 1930. So enjoying the cooler temperatures, and at least as far as today goes, also enjoying those blue skies and some sunshine. A couple of fair weather clouds right now, but really a beautiful view over parts of Carbondale looking over Charlotte West Stadium. Temperature right at 83. That's pretty much today's high. It's feeling a little warmer thanks to the added humidity and the breeze coming out of the southwest but still really not a bad evening for us. Temperatures across the board somewhere in those low to mid 80s. Mid 80s right now for Carmi and Mount Vernon, 82 in Sparta. Bit warmer over in Sykeston and Kennet at 86, but still really not feeling too bad out there. Over the next couple of hours, we'll hold on to those 80s. Overnight tonight, we'll fall down into the 70s and then the lows somewhere in those 60s. We'll clear skies out right before midnight, but then they'll fill right back in in the early morning hours. Tonight, though, quiet and cooler conditions are expected into Wednesday. Threat tracker is still up. We're still anticipating a couple rounds of widespread rain and then also some strong to severe storms. Into Thursday, a few of those showers may linger very, very early. And the rest of the day should just be drier with a couple of those mixed clouds. Right now, speaking of mixed clouds, it's exactly what we're seeing, but they'll continue to clear at least over the next couple of hours. We stay quiet and dry. Great evening to spend out, of course, if you want to go see the ball game, if you want to enjoy dinner outside on the patio. I would definitely suggest doing that today. Waking up very early tomorrow morning by 4 o'clock, Somewhere in those upper 60s, sky still fairly clear, and then we see the clouds and the rain move in very early. The first chance actually for Carter and Ripley County around 7 a.m. The bulk of the rain moving in by mid-morning across parts of southeastern Missouri. Very heavy rain with this. As it continues to push through, we see a bit of that line set up. That line could have some very strong winds embedded in it. We could also see some hail out of this, but really heavy rain is going to be the big concern with that first round. We see a couple of scattered showers stick around and then into the later evening overnight hours for tomorrow. Round two makes its way to us, and that actually has the better potential to have some of that severe weather. We were recently upgraded. This is just in. We've got that enhanced three out of five risk, and that's for almost everyone, excluding a small portion of western Kentucky and southern Illinois. But really, this covers a great deal of our area, like Cape Girardeau. We've got Poplar Bluff, Paducah, all the way down to Murray. Biggest concern still continues to be those straight line winds as they do push through. Flooding, of course, as well with that heavy rainfall. But today, really, keep an eye more on maybe a tornado or two, possible a brief spin up, and then hail going to be the lowest threat of them all. Rainfall forecast, we're still anticipating those higher amounts over portions of southeastern Missouri near Poplar Bluff, even south of that over Paragold. Now, this goes through the next three days. So, this includes that next system and what we're anticipating into this weekend. Storm Track 3 app coming in. And very handy. I think we'll get plenty of flood alerts. There is a possibility for some strong to severe thunderstorms, maybe even a tornado warning. So you're really going to want that storm track three app, especially as we go into the overnight hours on Wednesday. You need something that can wake you up just in case. Temperature is fairly cool tomorrow. We're in the upper 70s, low 80s. That trend stays with us into Thursday. By the time we get to this weekend, of course, we do have a couple more chances of some rain because of course we do. I know we have a lot lately. Temperatures do stay cool, but really be weather aware into Wednesday. Yeah, good advice. It is. Thank you, Katie.